why you're still stuck in your dating drama and this is the theme that I saw is that everyone wanted to be uh, to have their question answered like their particular thing that they're stuck on and how do I get through this and what is it I need to do and ultimately what I was seeing was this massive avoidance of the work and here's the thing like you, you can watch all these videos I'm happy to have you here I'm grateful to have you here I'm so glad that you are enjoying you know the videos and the posts that's beautiful I really value that and I want to make sure that you know these are always helpful and and that you're not binging on the content of me and other coaches because I, I see it by the way I see things pop up the people that always comment on my stuff I see them comment on loads of other people that I follow and I'm like oh this is what you do you go around coming up commenting on everyone's stuff and don't get me wrong there's a place for that and let's be honest you know it tickles the Facebook algorithm so we appreciate this but it's also not going to help your healing right and sometimes we think we're being productive and we're doing the work when we are um, we're listening to podcasts, we're reading all the dating books, we're watching all the videos of coaches and relationship people and dating experts and all of this. And we think we're doing the work, but that can also be another way of avoiding the work, right? Because it can become this addictive pattern, this spiral of let me get more information, let me listen to another podcast, let me watch another video, right? And, and I'd be really curious to see, you know, how many people are actually using the journaling prompts that I put out there in the post. They're not there for fun. They're not there to create like a cool post. They're there because when you ask yourself those questions and not just think about it briefly and then scroll and move on with your life, but actually journal on it, like physically write that out and dive deeper and say, well, what was my childhood like? And what was my relationship like with my dad? And what was my relationship like with my mum? And what, what was my role in my family? And what did that teach me about my place in relationships? Like this is not glossy work. This is not shiny surface level dating tactics. This is about our life. This is about our inner world and our psyche. People And likewise, you know, I can't do this for you. And I say that with like as much love and compassion as I can muster, but I can't do it for you. And that's not why I'm here. I can give you the tools, right? I can give you the journaling prompts. I can give you the offers. I can say, you know, if you if you can't afford to, to hire someone, and maybe that's me, maybe that's someone else, but here, here's some journaling prompts so you can dive deeper into yourself and get to know yourself better, but I can't physically sit there with you in front of your journal and move the pen for you. You've got to do that. And more to the point, you've got to want to do that. And I'm going to make a really bold statement and I don't want to offend anyone, but I've got to say what, what I'm seeing. And what I'm seeing is that some of you don't want to change and that's okay. But I'd invite you to be honest with yourself about that, right? Like if you've been watching the same influencers online for years and you haven't really done the work, nothing's really transformed or changed, like just be honest with yourself about that and be like, oh, I just like to follow people and watch videos because it feels good. That, that's great, you know, that there's a place for that and maybe maybe that's okay for you and you want to just feel a little bit better and get some information. There's nothing wrong with that and it's also not going to help you transform. You know, I, I've been to some pretty big events in the personal development space and I'm not going to name any names because I don't want to get sued but it was really enlightening for me to see that the people running the event didn't really want people to change. They wanted people to sign up for their programs and, and their courses and sell them products and services that didn't really help move the needle for them. And I've seen this in the industry, you know, and I've personally, <laughs> I totally shouldn't say this in public on a live, but I'm going to, um, I personally distance myself from a lot of things, a lot of, uh, the outlets and publishers and influencers in the industry who spiritually bypass who are like buy this rose quartz and it'll change your life or buy this card deck and you will be your life will be better that's bollocks that's so much bullshit 
And I just want to be honest about that. Like that's not going to change your life. Like those things are really great tools. I love a crystal. I love a card deck. And I, I've got my box. I travel with my box of crystals and cards with me and I've got incense in there. And it's nice to have that part of my practice like every so often. But I've been here for about five days now. I haven't touched that stuff. It's there if I'm like, you know what? I feel like during this client session, I've got a client session in about uh, an hour and a half, 90 minutes time. So I might get a crystal and put it there and that, that supports me. But having that crystal sat on my desk is gonna do nothing if I don't have a skill set in coaching. It's gonna do nothing for the client if I don't open my mouth and speak. It's gonna do nothing for the client if I don't, if I haven't honed my craft and done my work and done this for years, which I have, right? It's like, these things are not a miracle. They're not a quick fix. They can be tools to support you. And if you have a card deck of like affirmations and those affirmations are something that you choose to then say to yourself and integrate, that's, that's great and that probably is helpful. But just be really honest about what's helping you and what's hindering you and what's helping you to transform and what's keeping you stuck and what's enabling you. And if I'm enabling you, if watching these videos is not helping you, then stop watching. <laughs> like, that's, that's okay. I want you to heal and I want you to transform. I don't want you to stay stuck and I don't want you to be kidding yourself about doing the work when you're not, right? And I know this is a little bit confrontational and I don't mean to be an asshole, but I don't want to be someone who's like, oh, just buy all these things and, and it's a magic trick. Like this is not a magic trick. All of my programs, all of my services are deep, deep inner work right? And I, I can't do it for you. Even when I'm working with people one-to-one, -one, like I'm holding the space, I'm asking the questions. But if that person doesn't want to change, it's kind of like, it reminds me of personal training. Um, I remember I used to work at a gym about 10 years ago. Yes, I used to work in gym sales. And uh, one of the trainers said, oh, my client didn't, I said, didn't you have a client? And he was like hanging out at reception. He's like, no, they didn't show up. I'm like, oh, well, do you, what happens then? Do you, do they get a refund? He went, no, 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 they'll forfeit the session and they, they know that. I said, well, why wouldn't they show up then? He said, some people just like saying they've got a personal trainer. And it blew my mind so hard and it always stayed with me. I think it's the same thing with personal development. Some people like saying, oh, I've got a coach, I've got a mentor. I mean, great, but are you showing up for the sessions? And by showing up, I don't mean are you just turning up on time? I mean, are you actually wanting to do the deep inner work? Because this is fucking hard work, right? And I know that's not very sexy to say that. It's not a very good um, sales point, right? Do this. It's really hard. But this is deep stuff. This is not like surface level dating tactics. This is not buy a crystal and your life will change. This is like, what did you go through? Right? What was it that happened to you? Why is it that dating is a mess for you? You know, two years ago, I went through the hardest time in my entire life. And I just went live on my Instagram before I mentioned it for the first ever time and I'll mention it here now. This is the second time I've said this public. <laughs> the first time was an hour ago on my IG live. I went bankrupt three years ago. That'll teach you some things about yourself, let me tell you. I lost everything, right? My life has been like the rise and fall and then now like the rise again. I rose quite quickly and I lost everything. And the reason that happened is because I overextended credit. And the reason I overextended credit is because I was listening to other people instead of listening to myself, right? I was believing everyone's promises that they were gonna save me. I hired coaches for $12,000, I think it was. And there was nothing wrong with those coaches, but I wasn't willing to do the work thought I was, but I was looking to them to save me. And that's not what this is, right? We've got to save ourselves. I then got myself out of that. It took, it took a long time. Like it's the past three years have been a rebuild. It's been demolition and a rebuild. And if, if, for those of you who know me personally, you, you know, <laughs> like what you see now, like the shininess and things are good and things are great. And that's a blessing and I'm grateful. But like, this didn't come for free. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it really didn't come for free. Like, holy fucking shit. So I've walked through the fire. I've been to the depths, you know, and there's no easy way to do this. You, the only way, the only way out is through. 
And the only way out is within. You've got to go within. It will change your fucking life. Right? And the strength that you'll have and how proud you'll feel of yourself. And how resilient you'll be and... You'll, you'll know that you can face anything because nothing will be worse than going through that and you'll know that. And you won't do that by hanging around and doing the same thing. By binging on books and podcasts and buying the next thing and thinking that's going to save you. There's a point where you've got to look at yourself and be like, I'm going to do whatever it takes until it takes. Because I'm fucking done with this shit. And it's not about being tired of it. It's about being done. The two different things. I don't doubt for a second you're really tired of your dating drama, but you might not be done with it. And you might not be done with it because it might be serving you in some way. And I know that sounds crazy, but it might be serving you because it's playing into the old story of you and you're not ready to let go of that story of being someone who's stuck in this, of being someone who's powerless, of being someone who's the victim, right? And I have so much compassion for what you've been through, but you're not a victim. You're a victor and you can only be a victor if you pick yourself up and you get through it. And I'm not saying it's a walk in the park. I'm saying the opposite. Like this shit is hard. And you can do it. And this is not meant to be inspiring or motivating. This is meant to just be truth. Like this is what I've lived. This is truth for me. Now, at the moment, things are fucking breezy. You know what I mean? Like things are good. Like look at this home that I'm in. It's gorgeous. And I um, find myself almost in tears every day with how grateful I am. Because I know what it's like to not be here. And I know what it's like to almost not be here. Right? Those of you who have been through tough times know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, how the fuck am I going to get through this? On the other side is something fucking magical. Something so magical you can't even imagine it right now. But you have to be willing to do it. And I can't do it for you. I can guide you. I can give you the tools. I can hold space like a motherfucker. I can coach the shit out of you. And I can't do it for you. Just like no one could do it for me. This is a very passionate live stream today. <laughs> I did not expect this. But it's, it's what I've experienced and it's true for me. And I just see so many incredible souls. Just spinning their wheels. Just going around in circles. And you know... Three years ago, I look at where I was and where I am now. And even though I lost everything and don't get me wrong, like I haven't built it back up again. This is not my house. <laughs> Here's something most people on the internet won't tell you. They'll be like, look at me in my house. This is not my house. I do not own this house. I'm staying in this house for five days for free. It's not even an Airbnb. This is a free house. Yeah, in conclusion, I can't do this for you. You will get through it and you've got to do the inner work, right? It's like saying... Um, you want to get fit, but you're not prepared to work out. You're not prepared to eat healthily. You can buy all the fucking DVDs you want. You can download all the fitness apps you want. But if you're not actually going to work out, you're not going to get fit. Same thing. If you want to heal your dating drama, if you want to really do this inner work, whether it's dating drama or whether it's something else you're stuck with in your life, like you've got to be willing to dive deep. And maybe that's doing like the journaling stuff that I talked about or whether that's hiring a coach or a counsellor. Let me tell you, I went back into counselling two years ago. Do you know how much I paid an hour? £28 an hour. In dollars, that's probably like $50. Was he undercharging and did he probably have some money stuff where he wasn't really charging what he's worth? Absolutely. And was it also true that I really needed someone at a low price point at that time because I couldn't afford anything more than that? Yes. And was it a stretch for me to see him every week or every two weeks? Yeah felt like a real investment because at that time that was a lot of money for me so there's there's people to serve you at every price point so if I'm out of your reach financially that's okay go find someone else that can help you right and you can still stay in my world absolutely but don't let costs be something that stops you there's people at every price point and they're very good right so I want to uh, part in wisdom and then I'll go um a good friend of mine Ruby says Instead of saying I don't have time and instead of saying I don't have the money, say instead this isn't a priority right now and see how that feels, right? And that's kind of uncomfortable, right? Instead of going, oh, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, say this isn't a priority for me right now. Then you're a 
beautiful soul. I love you. Oh, this was emotional. I think I'm getting my period in like two days. This is probably why I'm crying on a live stream. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. So, um, in conclusion, yeah, you, you need to do the work and you've got to be willing to, you've got to be willing to do it. Like if you want to get fit, you've got to be willing to work out. If you want to get healthy, you've got to be willing to change what you eat. And no one can stop you shoveling cookies in your mouth other than you. Same thing, right? If you're ready to gain power over your dating drama and you want to clear up that space in your head that's taken up by the, the feelings of, of has he texted back, has, what's going on, like that really consuming experience of being in the dating drama. If you're ready to gain power over that, which really enables you to live your best life, doesn't it? Because you get all of that stuff out of the way, just as we talked about in this week's episode. If you're ready for that, I invite you to apply for a call with me to talk about your suitability for Embodied and Empowered. Embodied, embodied and Empowered is my 30-day group coaching immersion. It's not something I do very often. I won't run programs like this very often at all, but it's really a beautiful way to get lots of one-on-one -on -one time with me and understand what it is for you and why it is that you're stuck. And I'd love to be the one to help guide you and mentor you and coach you to figuring out why it is this stuff has took hold and how to gain power over it and how to be free of it. So take a look at the sales page for Embodied and Empowered. The link is down below in the comments. Have a peruse and if it feels good, then apply for a call and we'll go from there. See you next week. <laughs>